Hello all, this is Rulli here. Today we are going to see how to implement Hamming code using C++. But before going into Hamming code, if you don't know the theory about Hamming code, please do watch my previous video. You can find the video in the description below, where I explain the whole Hamming code concept with an example. So let's get started. First, we will input 4 bit from the user. These 4 bits are known as data bits. The position of the data bit is with respect to the parity bits. Parity bits is an additional bits which is given by Hamming code which is used for error detection. The parity bit will take the uh, position with respect to 2 raised to power that is the first position, second position and fourth position. The remaining position is taken by data bits. The data bits will take third position, fifth, sixth and seventh. So we'll, we will input the bits into this particular position that is 3rd, 5th, 6th and 7th now after inputting the data bits now we need to find the parity bit parity bit is found out by making this whole position of the element uh, even parity in programming we may use a XOR operator which we will find by pressing shift and a 6 button this XOR operator works same as that of an even parity. So, for finding the first parity P1, we will XOR the whole uh, element in the position 1, 3, 6, 5, and 7. We will not consider the first position because this is a parity bit and we don't know yet. So, we will take third, fifth, and seventh. We will continue this whole procedure for whole three parity bits. The third parity bit is at P4, it's an error here. After calculating the parity bit and getting data bits, now we will display the whole data which consists of parity as well as data bits. Now we have a whole data which consists of parity and the data bits which we will send to a receiver to check if there is an error. So for the receiver side, we will again input a whole 7 bit code which consists of a parity bit and data bits. So let's write the message saying to input the 7 bit. If the 7 bits are same as that of the array variable A, then that means there is no error in the code. But if there is any changes, we will find it by using Hamming code. So We will input a new 7 bit into a new variable b. Now again we will find a parity bit but now for finding parity bit we will consider this first element as well because we now know the value of the parity bits as it is a 7 bit code. So let's calculate the value of parity bit. Now after calculating the parity bit value, we will convert the parity bit value into a decimal format. If the value is 0 then that means there is no error in the code. But if other than 0 there is any value that means there is an error in that particular position. So let's take this decimal value into variable p. For converting into decimal, we will multiply first parity bit with 2 raised to 0, second with 2 raised to 1, and the fourth, it is the fourth with 2 raised to 2. So, C1 into 1, 2 raised to 0 is 1. Now, after calculating the value, if the value is 0, we will say there is no error in the code. Else, we will display the position where the particular error is occurred. 
that is the value of p now after detecting an error we need to correct the error if in the position p there is a value 0 we will convert it into a 1 and if there is 1 we will convert it into a 0 so if if the value is 0 we will convert it into a 1 now we have detected an error now we have corrected an error now we need to display the message saying that the whole data without an error is now we are done with our program let's see if it's working I'm getting an error here. I need to include variable b here. First, we need to input 4 bits. As you can see, there's a 7 bit which is the parity bit as well as data bits. Now, I will input the same bits so that the message should pop up saying that there is no error in the code. Let's just see 0, 0, 1. It is saying there is an error in the second position. Oh, there was an error here. Let's just again run the program and see. Run it, cancel it. We'll again input four bits. As you can see, there is no error in the code because I have inputted the same bits. Now let's change a bit by again running the program. Now we will change, let's say, fourth position with one. As you can see, the message popped up. There is an error in the position fourth. This is the data without an error that is 0 1 1 0 0 0 thank you for watching guys if you like the video please hit the like button and please do subscribe thank you